Hey there YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a video review on this Titan Deep Freeze 50 can cooler uh, that I've been using for the past few weeks. It's item number 262-167. Okay, and one thing I wanted to mention, I had originally ordered this online, but then I saw this in the store and this was $10 cheaper. It was 26 instead of 36 and so I bought this one, and I said, well, you know, I'll have two coolers. Let's see how good this one is, you know, the cheaper one. I got the one that I ordered online, and it's the same cooler. So here's the packing slip from the order online, and you can see it's item 1667978. So Costco has different item numbers for the same item if you purchase it online. It says it holds 50 cans plus ice and keeps ice up to three days. Well, the trick is that it's not gonna hold 50 cans plus be able to be completely filled with ice. If you read the fine print, it says that the product was 100% filled with ice. Um, so in my testing, I, I used less than 10 pounds of ice, so I didn't put an entire store-bought bag of ice in there. Um, and it lasted about 12 hours. But I would imagine if you 100% filled the entire thing with ice, it would last three days. The problem is you also got to get food in there. Um, <laughs> so uh, the keeps ice up to three days claim, I wouldn't put too much value in it. This is not a Yeti, you know, it's just a, a carry around kind of cooler for a day trip. And that's exactly what I'm using it for. All right, let's get to testing. Okay, so I filled this up with water up to the zipper and then left it overnight and I'd say the leak proof claim is not valid. So let's see how full it remains. It's still pretty full though, so I wonder if some of it leaked past the zipper. Yeah, it looks like it held water, but it leaks throughout through the zipper, is the thing. So the zipper is not waterproof. I mean, I guess that makes sense because this thing is not waterproof. Um, let me show you. So if you were carrying it and you tipped it, you get that. Okay, so I left this outside for an entire week. I had previously filled it all the way up to pass the zippers. The water drained out through the zippers slowly. Um, this, of course, does not seal because this is just Velcro. But it did hold water and it didn't leak any water. as you can see, but over the week, that much water evaporated from it, so, um, and there's a bug in there. Chickens! So, now I'm going to dump this out, let it cool off inside overnight, and then I'll do my ice test tomorrow in the hot day sun. Alright, and I'm putting in 5 pounds, 3.5 ounces of ice. And logging should begin at 10.30ish. The current temperature is 78 degrees, although it's currently not in the sun because it hasn't gotten over the trees yet. Okay, so the temp sensor just hit 49.8 degrees, so that's no longer really refrigerated. Um, at least as far as meat's concerned, and I don't know if I'd like my beer at 50 degrees either. Um, but I did discover a flaw in my testing. I put the sensor in there in a bag on top of the ice and normally food items have weight to them and so the food sensor is probably floating above the ice um, and it might be in the air pocket area. 
and thanks to that leaky seal all the air is probably going in and out but the water might still be cold enough so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna add this beer that was in the fridge to the Ziploc bag so that the Ziploc bag sinks to the bottom and then we get an accurate temperature of what the ice water temperature is Ah, look at that. There's still ice in there. So that's what it is. I just need to get this sensor to be at the bottom of the ice. Okay. Okay, now it's a fair test. And you can see the temperature started to decrease immediately. So now we'll have a fair test. Okay, so we're just about the 12 hour mark for this five pounds of ice. Um, the temperature has creeped back up to 54 degrees. That's still about 20 degrees cooler than the ambient temperature outside, but um, probably about time to check that ice. Let's go ahead and see if there's any ice left in here. Okay, as I suspected, the ice is all melted. The water is actually still, feels pretty cold. Alrighty, so, next test. Okay, put the ice tray on there. Okay, dump the ice tray. Alright. So we put one pound, 10 ounces in. I got one more ice tray. And that was five pounds, one ounces of ice. So whatever the math is on that. Now I'm gonna put the can of beer from the fridge and the temperature sensor in there. I'm going to put the sensor on the bottom of the bag. And the test begins at 10.42. Okay, so the temperature started out about 72 and then dropped. Um, the reason there's so much data in this chart is because I started the test Sunday morning, then went out, and then forgot about the test until Monday afternoon. Um, but here's a nice chart, and you can kind of see how the temperature gradient goes. Uh, this data will be in the description. The cooler did a pretty good job. This is just a day trip cooler. I take it out on the boat, it's soft, so when I set it on the seat, it doesn't like damage it. And I, and I don't risk it sliding around when the boat's in motion and hitting someone's leg and hurting them because it's hard. This is gonna be soft. I do have one of the cheap red Rubbermaid coolers and it holds ice a lot better than this. I empty my fridge's ice containers into it on camping trips and it lasts like a few days. This is not as good. There's no, there's no two ways about it. Um, with all that said, I'm 100% happy with this purchase for my use case for the $26 that I paid. So let's look at some of the features of this. Um, the zipper has a little, uh, I don't know what you'd call it, a stick. It's got actually two zippers. I only ever use one zipper. I guess it'd be more efficient to go like this, you know, but yeah. The zipper hasn't failed yet. Seems to be pretty sturdy. It's got pouches on the front, so you can put snacks, dry food, etc. It's got a pouch here. This is where we put sunscreen. Um, another insulated pouch here for something that you know you're gonna eat right away maybe. 
It's really, it's got pouches galore. That's one of the nice things. It's got another pouch here on the right side. Another pouch here on the left side. Nothing on the back. It's got the tabletop cup holders, but as you can see, it kind of dents over time. So it can, the top is concave. So let me get something to set there. Notice it's at kind of a slight angle. And then when the boat rocks, <laughs> not a good time. So I don't know why they include these things. Um, yeah, just like not useful at all. Let me try a beer cozy. Maybe that'll help. I haven't tried that. That actually makes it worse. I don't have any of the foam ones because I hate the foam ones, but maybe if you had the big thick foam ones, it would wedge in there and it would be nice, but nope. I usually drink bottles too, so it's even worse. One nice thing about this is say you're camping and you're going to bring your real cooler um, and you want to bring this too because you're going to go to the beach and you don't want to haul around your giant $200, $300 Yeti. So it folds down, saves some space. The carry handle is pretty nice. This little like rubber thing that goes against your shoulder is amazing. It makes the strap not hurt against your shoulder and it performs exactly as you would suspect. It's nice and strong. Like I said, 100% happy with this purchase. And it is nice because it's Costco, because if it ever breaks, well, within reason, like within the first two years, I can just take this back to Costco and say, hey, it broke, give me my money back. And they'll give me my money back. It's insane. So yeah, uh, I hope this video helps. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments. Uh, make sure you don't subscribe. Don't hit that notification bell. Leave it alone. Leave the notification bell alone. It doesn't want to be hit, okay? But, um, do post comments if you have questions. I'll get back to you. Uh, I love helping people. Um, thanks for watching.